Well, this turned out a little bit better than expected. G'day everyone, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Pretty Average Astro. In this video, I plan to be a pretty quick one. I've got the Skywatcher 120 ED already set up for my last video. And even though I'm primarily going to use this for visual observation, with it all set up, I thought I might as well uh, get some more zoomed in targets. So tonight, I'm aiming at the Statue of Liberty Nebula, which I didn't even realize. I, I've seen a couple of photos before, but I didn't even realize uh, it was in the Southern Hemisphere. So uh, my bad for that one. Uh, but we're going to see what we can get. Hopefully I can get uh, between sort of the 8 and 15 hours over a couple of nights or so. And I can't see myself really having any issues. Everything's performing brilliantly. And if you haven't seen this setup yet, I'll give you a quick tour of what we're looking at. So for this setup, I've got my belt modded HEQ. So I somehow managed to cut off this part of the video and I can't find where the rest of it is. So filling in, we've got the belt modded HEQ5 Pro mount, the EvoStar 120 ED, no reducer or flattener, so F7.5. I've got the Zero filter draw with the Optolong L Ultimate filter, the 533MC Pro, the ASI Air Mini, the Zero 290MC guide camera, and I've got the SV Boney 30mm uh, guide scope with an awesome bullet roll dew shield and a little SV Boney dew heater. Alrighty, so we ended up with just shy of four hours worth of data. I wasn't sure whether that was going to be enough, but it ended up coming up really, really nice. And if you are from the States, I hope you don't mind me getting into the moment a little bit. I was fortunate enough to actually see the Statue of Liberty in person in New York when I did a road trip from east to west over about five weeks uh, with a mate. Okay, I've always wanted to do this ever since I first watched Dumber and Dumber as a kid. And that was awesome. I got this hat from Arizona and when I realized there was a Statue of Liberty in space, I got a little excited. But anyway, here it is. 3.8 hours worth of data, no calibration frames, edited in pics and sight in the Who or H00 palette, and hope you enjoy. <laughs> 